Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel, Rachel Reviews. Today we're not reviewing anything. I've been, okay, so what do you guys think? I've actually been changing, I've been changing. I've been thinking of changing my YouTube name to something else besides Rachel Reviews. So I don't really do that many reviews. I do Stitch Fix unboxings, I do some Ipsy unboxings. Um, but yeah, what do you think I should call it? Um, anyway, so today we're doing just like a little vlog kind of thing. Uh, I forgot to shoot an intro earlier. Um, so some things are going to be a little out of order. I put ribs in the crock pot already. You're going to see that next. Um, but yeah, but right now I'm going to go. I need groceries desperately. My husband and I kind of got a few last night just so he could have like lunch today and breakfast. <laughs> but I have to go grocery shopping. Um, so we're going to go to Walmart for that. And then I do need to go to Target because they sell this moisturizer that I really like there. I don't know why I'm crooked. <laughs> I do know why I'm holding it. I maybe want to stop at Best Buy and see if they have like a tripod for this camera so I don't have to hold it like this um, when I'm out and about. But yeah, so is that it? I think Target, Best Buy, groceries. Yeah. So let's get going. So I kind of already started on the ribs before I remembered to turn the camera on. So, so I got some ribs from the store. That's the dog. Um, in the crock pot already and then these ones um, we split look at that with dust my husband's brother um, and yeah so anyway I'm just putting some like stop hey stop Come on. putting some onion powder paprika and some Canadian steak seasoning which, you know, is the same as Montreal steak seasoning because Montreal is in Canada, if I am not mistaken. So, yeah. <laughs> we're just putting some of that on there and then we're gonna make a sauce and uh, yeah. So this is what happens when you're clumsy and you have a giant jar of sesame seeds. They just like decide to uh, fall. So I'm gonna clean that up. Be back. Okay, so I'm back. I cleaned up the sesame seeds. And now, sorry, like, okay, so you guys, I still need to get some type of like, um, yeah, that's not gonna work. I still need to get some type of like, tripod-y thing where you can like move the arms on it that's not like a full tripod anyway so I'm gonna make the sauce which is sweet baby rays some chili sauce and I'm gonna try some Dr. Pepper in there Dolly doesn't like it when I talk to you guys it didn't explode on me so that's a good sign we're just gonna start with a little bit, cause I don't know. I don't know what consistency I want it. Anyway, I guess we could angle down now. If, yeah, that's just gonna have to do. Oh yeah, we're gonna put brown sugar in it too. Brown sugar! A chili sauce, so my you can see her over there right there what okay. a little potato okay so chili sauce okay hang on okay. again so chili sauce is how my grandma used to make her country style ribs in the oven. She would do chili sauce and ketchup, um, probably a little barbecue sauce, brown sugar. If any of my family watches this and wants to comment on the actual recipe, that'd be great. But I think the chili sauce just gives it like a little, a little something extra. I'll put 
some brown sugar in there. I don't ever measure anything unless I'm baking something. I just, you know, I just go with what feels right. Am I stirring with a knife? Yes, I am. Does it matter? Not really. Should we put some more pop in? Sure, why not? So, we'll put this over the ribs in the crock pot. And then I'll probably make some more to like put on. Can you hear me over my stirring? I'll probably make some more to put on um, after they've been in the crock pot for like seven hours on low. And then my mom said to put them in the broiler for 10 minutes. So before we eat them. So that's the plan, Stan. Save that. Save some of that. We'll definitely save that. All right. And there they are. So great story. I don't have a handle on the lid to my crock pot, so I have to like either put a spatula under there to get the lid off when it's hot, or right now I'm just gonna use my fingers. And there we go. There's a giant clump of brown sugar right on top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. All right. Let's get to the rest of the day. All right, we'll go out. Oh, there comes Potato. <laughs> we'll go out and see the chickens. See how they're doing. My husband filled up their feed yesterday. There's our fake owl, so we don't have any more chicken deaths because we had one in December and it was our first chicken death and it was really sad. Traumatizing. Anyway, there's my babies. They always clamor towards the door to be let out of their enclosure. There's a run. Let's see if there's any eggs yet. They've been molting this winter. Oh, hi. This is Petunia. Petunia hates us. <laughs> Like, she really hates us. Hi, babies. Hi. That's Daffodil. This is Rose. There's Cinnamon. There's Ginger. Anyway, so it looks like Petunia's working on one. <laughs> Woo. It's a heavy, heavy thing. Okay, so we'll come back later um, and see, see how that went. Anyway, it's so nice out today. There's like still snow on the ground, but you know, it's in the 40s at least, maybe 50s, I don't know. Here's Potato. She's my sweet potato, that's why I call her Potato. Got the packages. Whoa, what? Got a Stitch Fix from My Shop My Looks, and I got something from Poshmark. I left the bills in the mailbox because I don't need that today. Okay, so, fun fact, my glasses have clip-on shades. And I am currently at the Target parking lot, and of course I parked next to a car with some teenagers in it who are probably silently judging me for talking to a camera. Which, you know, that's just probably my anxiety in my head, but whatever. Anyway, we're at Target now, so um, I'm going to head in. We'll see what footage I get. Okay, back in the car from Target. There's someone over there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I feel judged. Anyway, little Target haul. Of course I spent way too much than I intended to spend. I went in there for moisturizer and I wanted to see if they had any like fanny packs for, you know, just for out and about. Um, 
but I didn't really like the ones they had there so I ended up getting this hat instead <laughs> but you guys it was on clearance for three dollars and 88 cents okay I mean look how cute that is okay I don't know I think it's cute anywho I got a hat I got this shirt they had a lot of like St. Patrick's Day stuff prone to shenanigans and tomfoolery I'm just prone to it I don't know I don't know what to tell you so I got that I did end up getting this little wristlet instead of a fanny pack so this cute little wristlet from a new day was $12.99 that shirt was $14.99 um, so yeah it's got little little spots for your ID I was thinking for the bachelorette party for my friend Ashley next Saturday kind of tote that around with me I got my moisturizer I went in for so I did get what I went in for by Bliss, the Rose Gold Rescue Gentle Moisturize Cream for Sensitive Skin. And got my hairspray, Dove Compressed Mist Hairspray. Someone else is pulling into that spot that that lady just left with her teenage kids. Again, teenagers. And I got some new shampoo and conditioner, the Ever Strong by L'Oreal Paris Thickening Conditioner and Shampoo. Rosemary Leaf fortifies thin hair, anti-breakage, natural botanicals. Okay, they didn't even see. Natural botanicals, so I'm gonna try that out. I've been using the Redken um, shampoo and conditioner for a long time, and I just really don't think it's doing much for my hair anymore. So I'm gonna try something different. You know, what can it hurt? Only my hair. <laughs> uh. So I think I'm not gonna go to Best Buy today and I think I'm just gonna, um, I have a gift card for Joanne Fabrics from my sister-in-law Carly um, from Christmas. So I'm gonna go to Joanne Fabrics and look for some more like some new spring decor. Um, Cause I still haven't taken some of my Christmas stuff down. The tree's down, which my husband did. Um, but that's that's next today too. Once we go grocery shopping and then when I get home, I'm gonna take down <laughs> the Christmas decor and put some spring stuff up, because it's February 23rd. You know, let's do it. <sighs> you guys, I am sitting in the parking lot to go into Joanne Fabrics. There are Girl Scouts in front of the door. Girl Scouts is a great, great organization. Their cookies are delicious. I can't, I can't buy any cookies, you guys. So, um, I'm gonna have my blinders on. And uh, those girls are, those little girls are so cute. They were like, one of them's in a cookie box costume, dancing around. I'm gonna be strong. I'm gonna be strong. Let's go in. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a haul from Joanne's at home because I got not too many things, but they're like kind of bigger things and I can't do that justice in my little car space. So we're gonna do that at home. Done with Joanne's. I ended up spending $32 out of pocket because a bunch of things were buy one, get two free. So that was pretty cool and I used my gift card from Carly. So now we're going to go to Walmart and get groceries. I just made my list because I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff. But, you know, oh well. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, these are some of the things I got at Joanne's. Now that I'm out. Look how cute that is. It's probably going to be in the background of my next Stitch Tricks video. Some greenery. Got some other stuff there. Here's my little grocery haul. My groceries, and then there's a cute little puppy dog looking at me. Hey, puppy! Back to the groceries. Toilet paper. I don't have room. <laughs> I don't have room for all these groceries. I gotta focus. All right, we're back home. 3:52. Day is slipping away, but little grocery haul. This belongs over there, but whatever. Frozen broccoli, sour cream, Winchuler's cheese. This stuff is so, so good. Fun fact, it's fun on a bagel for breakfast. It's really good. Shredded cheese, mushrooms, butter, ice cream. I love that ice cream. 
these yogurts are really good. I don't know if you guys have tried it, but it's the Wii by Yoplait, and it's like French yogurt. French yogurt. So we got green onions, carrots, more broccoli, French fries. I'm gonna make sloppy joes this week. So I got some buns, bagels, Brussels sprouts, applesauce for my husband's lunches, fruit, uh, whatever those are, <laughs> English muffins, salsa. I got corn, corned beef hash, salad, hash browns. Um, beef to make a big mess of like taco meat this week. Baby spinach for smoothies. Taco seasoning. Bananas. Grape tomatoes. Celery. Got a baguette because last night we got some brie and I'm going to make that later with the ribs. And uh, some sandwich bags. Taco sauce. Parmesan cheese. I guess all kind of basic stuff. But yeah. So now I got to put it all away. <laughs> Chickies? Yeah? Alright, so we got the chickies here. I did bring them some treats. So let's dump that on the ground. Got some parsley. <laughs> Sorry there, cinnamon. Um, anyway, <laughs> we got some parsley and some carrot peelings. Oh my goodness, Petunia. Again, Petunia hates us. <laughs> Bluebell, saffron, cinnamon. Yeah. So, I think I get a little treat today because it's super nice out. I hate winter. <laughs> I hate winter. Sorry, I'm like trying to open up this other one that has lettuce and some like leftover spaghetti noodles that they'll think is worms. <laughs> there we go. Fun fact, little sweet potato over there loves lettuce, so she's probably jealous right now. But yeah, I don't know if you guys care about chickens, but I do. I think they're adorable. My husband's the one who wanted them, and then we got six the first year, and then we got ten more last year. Um, we did have one get killed this December by a bird of prey of sorts, so we have 15. We got some named after spices, some named after flowers. So we got our spice girls are the original six, and then the flower girls are the new ones. But yeah, they're so funny. I just love watching them. So a little in shambles right now, but getting my spring stuff out. There's some I put up already. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, so we got just a little bit of spring in here. And over there, the table's a mess. <laughs> but I'm gonna take that stuff upstairs. But most of my spring stuff, so like, on a little banister thingy there, shelf, whatever. <laughs> and then this weird shelf in my kitchen. So yeah, got some springy stuff. Mostly, mostly just no more Christmas is the big thing. Right, potato? All right, a little behind the scenes of my spring decor. I think I'm gonna put some lights in that. 
But yeah. There's my sign. I think I'm gonna put that where I try and close. Over there. But yay, it's coming along. And we have the finished results, kind of, of the ribs. I'm gonna take them out and put them under the broiler. So look at it bubbling. Yay! All right, friends, so I think I'm gonna end this vlog. Hubby's gonna be home soon. I hate the word hubby, I don't know why I just used it. My husband is gonna be home soon from work and I'm gonna start, you know, making mashed potatoes or something to go with those ribs. So I hope you enjoyed my little vlog and a little bit of, uh, you know, chicken time with my girls and shopping and groceries and everything. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great night and a great, you know, few left last hours of your weekend. It's Sunday. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe down below. Yeah, it'd be cool. <laughs>